Welcome in the sports. I'm Amy Zimmer. The Calvary Day Cavaliers on the road to Rome to play for the GHSA class AAA state title. Special send off was held early Thursday morning. Our Dave Williams was there and has the story. After dominating their way through the GHSA Class AAA state playoffs with only one loss, the Calvary Cavaliers find themselves on their way to the state championship series. And Thursday morning, they got a hero's send-off to Rome, the site of that championship series. There was definitely plenty of excitement in the air at Calvary Day School Thursday morning as students, faculty, and parents gather at the school's sports complex to greet the Cavalier baseball team as they got ready to hit the road to Rome, as they hope to bring back the team's first state baseball championship since 2007. Yeah, it means the world, you know, this is, these are things that uh, you kind of dream of, you know, and so it's really cool to kind of see just the Calvary community and just people in the community in general come support us and, uh, you know, on our, on our journey with this thing. As a team, we're, we're all very excited. Uh, this is what we've been training for all year. and. Um, this is where this is where we want to be, and uh, we're just very excited. We have a ton of energy right now. Calvary enters the state championship series, having only lost one game in the playoffs, but their opponent Harlem has lost only one game all year long. However, the Cavaliers aren't intending on going that long way to Rome without securing a title. We want to win. I mean, I, I, I want to tell the people that we won the state championship and losing. So we're going to win. We're not. We're not happy just because we made it to state. We want to win, and um, and that's the goal. The Cavaliers will begin their quest for that AAA state championship Friday at 5 p.m. with a doubleheader of games one and two of the best of three state championship series that will be played at Advent Help Stadium in Rome. In Savannah, Dave Williams, WJCL 22 News.